and praise God with our power, we are Lord of God. Amen. Sa ating mga single mother and singles. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Sa napakadang bagay, mga kapatid. Baaring you don't have your partners in life, but the most important thing, you have God as your partner. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Enjoy your intimate relationship with the Lord. Amen. And you will enjoy your life. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So sa hindi pagtatagal, mga kapatid, tawagin po natin yung Sister Jennifer Bakirin. Amen. Para sa ating mga pastors, wife, away from home, and mothers away from home. God bless you, Sister Jennifer. Nang 
buhay. Praise God! So palakpakan muli natin ang Panginoon at napakas ka na pagbuhi sa ating Panginoon. Praise God! Hallelujah! So doon mga kapatid, ang sabi po sa Genesis, uh, Jeremiah 29 verse 11 sa Tagalog dahil napakaganda mga kapatid. Sapagkat batid ko lubos ang mga plano ko para sa inyo. Ganun lang dyan po natin. Grabe siya. Mga plano hindi ninyo ikakasama. Yung hindi ko ikakasama. Hindi kundi para sa inyo ikakabuti. Ito'y mga plano nagdudulot sa inyo kinabukasan na punong-puno ng pag-asa. So, ganun po ang Diyos natin dahil sa ating mga purpose kung bakit tayo pumunta dito. Diba? 
napakasarap. Kaya na inlam na ako mga katatid sa presensya ko ng ating Panginoon.
yun po ang katotohanan. Lagi po po natin kapag sinabi ng ating mahala. Sa kasi malo mahirap, lalo na kapag may problema sa Pilipinas, mga kapatid, may mga trials, kailangan ako ng aking asawa doon, mga kapatid. Totoo ba? Sa aking anak, mahirap. Lalo pag may sakit, naranasan nyo. Kaya si Sir Ping, ang ating beloved si Sir Marifi, nagsabi nga dati, umuwi sa Pilipinas, hindi ko talaga kaya na iwanan ang aking mga anak. Hindi ko rin po kaya. O ako lang. Hindi, ako yun. Ako yun. Ay, ikaw ba yun? Amen. 
be responding to the word of God. Praise the Lord. Let's open our Bible in the book of Psalm, uh, Ruth, chapter 4, verse 10 to 12, and let's jump up to 14 and 15. Praise God. Have you found it, mga kapatid? Praise the Lord. Amen. Let's read it all together. Moreover, Ruth the Moabite, the woman of Malam, have I purchased to be my wife, to raise up the name of the dead upon in his inheritance, that the name of the dead be cut off from among his brethren, and from the age of his place we are the witnesses this day. Praise God. And all the people that we were in the gate and the elders said, We are witnesses. The Lord made the woman that came into his mind house like Rachel and like Leah. And to them build the house of Israel and thou wert in Ephrata and be famous in Bethlehem. And did the house be the house of Paris, whom the summer buried unto Judah and the seed which the Lord had given thee, his young woman. Praise God. 14. And the woman said unto Naomi, Blessed be the Lord, and live thee in this without a kinsman, and this his name may be famous in Israel. 15. And he shall be bear thee with us. The story of thy life and the nurture of thine old age for the daughter in law which loveth thee, which is better in thee than seven sons hath borne me. Praise God. Hallelujah. Blessed be your name, Jesus. Thank you once again, O oh God, for your word today. Bless and anoint me, O oh God, as your mouth is spanging on. I can do nothing without you, Lord. Let the word of wisdom, O oh God, be released. The power of your spirit be in our midst today. Hallelujah. Bless my mind, O oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lose my tongue to speak your word. Hallelujah. Boldly in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Praise God. You may not take your seats, mga kapatid. Praise God, and I will bring the topic that says, Away from, from whom, yet you are blessed. Away from whom, yet we are blessed. Amen? Hallelujah. Praise God. Now, some of us, mga kapatid, hallelujah, we are how many years, years after years, amen, stay here, staying here in abroad, amen, hallelujah, you miss your family. Amen? Amen. Yun nga sabi ni Sister Jane, mga kapatid, I, uh, before mga kapatid, I go vacation in the Philippines for one month. Amen? One month lang ako, pero hindi ko kaya, mga kapatid. Praise God. Abroad, uh, away from home is not easy. Amen? But, allow me, mga kapatid, to share the life of Ruth. Amen? Praise God in the Bible. Ruth is a glorious happening in the reign of judges. It is the most, hallelujah, beautiful story, mga kapatid, in the Bible that shows the faithfulness and the beauty of character, the certain cold, hallelujah, individual away from cold home. Amen. The story is a very interesting because the main character, mga kapatid, is a gentile. Amen. Praise God. Her decision to live away from home is very crucial to the story of being on the process for the coming Messiah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Because of that famine, mga kapatid, in Bethlehem. Praise God. Elimelech and his wife, Naomi, and his two sons moved to away from Moab. Amen. The land whose people are idol worshippers. Praise God. In the course of time, mga kapatid, amen, the son married to Moabite's woman, that is Ruth and Orpha. And unfortunately, mga kapatid, Elibelik and his, and his son, amen, da, uh, praise God, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's clap our hands to Jesus. Praise the Lord. <laughs> hallelujah. Away from home, mga kapatid, Naomi is helpless. Amen? Praise God. Now, it's not easy for us. We are here in abroad, mga kapatid, away for our family and loved ones. Amen? 
minsan nararanasan natin yung empty, uh, yung homesickness. Nararanasan natin mga kapatid na yung nandoon yung naglulong tayo sa ating mga mahal sa buhay. Praise God. Now, God give her a new direction. Amen. I thought to go back to Bethlehem was in her mind. Praise God. When she was heard that there was now bread in Israel, amen, she decided to go back home. Praise God. Now, like us, mga kapatid, I hear some sisters. In this year, there's a lot of sisters that going up, uh, go home in the Philippines having for good, mga kapatid. Praise God. Because if you know that there is a good resources in the Philippines, amen, like businesses, mga kapatid, like Sister DC, uh, yesterday, mga kapatid, sinabi niya na yung hasawa niya is nagpapagal talaga na nagagawa na sila ng mga businesses, mga kapatid, praise God. So, amen, then kung meron tayong good resources in the Philippines, go back home, mga kapatid. Praise God. Because the word of God says, Amen, in Hebrews 35, He never leave you nor forsake you. Yes, Amen. He will never leave us nor forsake us. Praise the Lord. Hindi talaga tayo pababayahan ng ating Panginoon. Praise God. Now let's go back to the story, mga kapatid. Her two daughters-in-law began to a long, long journey. Praise God. And both trouble with her. However, a long, long with the desert road, mga kapatid, now me advice to them to return home in their own country. Praise God. Or patid. Amen. She kissed her mother-in-law and say goodbye and go back to her in her birthplace. Praise God. But Ruth chose to follow her mother-in-law. Praise God. Her statement, hallelujah, is to love and devotion that has been inspired for a man. Praise God. You know that? Ruth, mga kapatid, is a, kins, a kinsman redeemer. Praise the Lord. In Ruth chapter 1, verse 16, praise God, he said, she said, she treat me not to leave thee. Hallelujah. Nor to return from the following after thee. For whither it goeth, I will go. Whether it lodges, I will lodge. Thy people shall be my people, and my God will be my God. So whatever God leads you, church, whatever God leads you, amen, we will follow, we will go. Amen. Kagaya dito, mga kapatid, amen, whatever God leads in our hearts, amen, even though there is a lot of pandemics, mga kapatid, there is a lot of viruses, mga kapatid, that cannot hinder us to come in the church. Hallelujah. To worship Him. To serve Him. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Praise God. Sabi nga dito mga kapatid, amen, that um, fight a good fight of faith. Amen. Hallelujah. Fight a good fight of faith. Some employers will not allow us. Monitor mo na ako sa story mga kapatid. Some employers will not allow you to go out because Ayaw nila mahawaan ng virus, baka makontaminate ka ng virus, mga kapatid, pero sila din, lagi silang lumalabas, di ba? Amen. Pero fight the good fight of faith. Amen? Because sabi ng uh, Deuteronomy 31.8, mga kapatid, the Lord is with, uh, is the one who goes ahead of you. He will go before us. Amen? He will never leave you nor forsake you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Kaya hindi tayo pababayaan ng ating Panginoon. Kaya huwag tayong matakot, mga kapatid. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now, in our team, mga kapatid, praise God. Hallelujah. It includes the acronym SHAPE. Praise God. SHAPE. Diba sa atin, uh, sa worldly team, mga kapatid, praise God, uh, Although we are not perfect in beauty, we are not perfect in body shape, mga kapatid, in our face, di ba? Pero sa atin, sa spiritual, praise God, shape, amen, stands, S stands spiritual, spiritually, H stands heart and habit, E stands ability, potential, inner must be in duty and responsibilities. Now let's look at, mga kapatid, the spiritual side of Ruth's story. 
Praise God. Hallelujah. Ruth declares that Naomi, hallelujah, Naomi's God will be her God. Amen? Praise God. Hallelujah. At that moment, mga kapatid, the spiritual life and the spiritual world changes everything to Ruth's future. Even though, mga kapatid, she is away from her home and family. Hallelujah. That decision is stick to the God of Hebrews. Praise God. Make her a vessel for God's glory. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's clap our hands for Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The decision to speak the God of the heaven makes her a vessel for God's glory. Praise God. In this lesson, mga kapatid, we can get, amen, hallelujah, even though we are far away from home, yet you can still enjoy the blessing and the favor of God, hallelujah, if you stick to the God, hallelujah, hallelujah, who is Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Praise God. If you stick to the God, mga kapatid, amen, hallelujah, you will see the favor and the blessings of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Away from home is not easy. But if you stick to the true God, amen, you will see the favor and the blessings of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Let's look, hallelujah, at her heart and habit, mga kapatid. Praise God. We are going to compare or pan, root, mga kapatid. Praise God. Their hearts and habits. Obviously, mga kapatid, there are so much difference. Amen. Or pa, amen, cannot separate in her, uh, from her home, amen. While Ruth, mga kapatid, praise God, cannot separate in her mother's-in-law. Hallelujah. Whose hope and promise was always attached to the God of the heaven. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, Ruth's adventure, mga kapatid, is uh, full of unknown, amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Heart is full of trust and faith to God. Now, alam ko mga kapatid na tayo away from home, amen, nandukon yung ating trust sa Panginoon and faith sa Panginoon na ang ating mga mahal sa buhay ay iingatan ng Diyos. Amen. Hindi pa babayaan ng Diyos. Praise God. Now, for how many years, years after years, amen, you stay here. Look what the Lord has done. The blessings of God. Amen. In your family. If you stand. If you stand to the true God. Oh, my soul. Amen. Hallelujah. Makikita mo talaga ang favor ng Diyos, kapatid. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Now, let's look at mga kapatid. Hallelujah. It's Ruth's ability. Praise God. When Naomi and Ruth, mga kapatid, reached Bethlehem, the fair returned to the destitute. It means many, hallelujah, they have nothing at all. No money, no food, no house, nothing. Amen. Praise God. That's why pumunta nga tayo dito, mga kapatid, abroad. Yun nga sabi ni Sister Jane kanina, for the sake of our family. Yes. Amen. For the sake of our children that... They can finish their course, mga kapatid. They can finish their studies. Praise God. Hallelujah. In order to live, amen, Ruth cleansed the field as a stranger in Leviticus 19, hallelujah, 9 to 10, amen, and had commanded Israel to live and cleanings to the poor. Praise God. Let's read it, mga kapatid. And when we reap the harvest of your land, thou shalt not wholly reap in the corners of thy field, neither thou shalt gather in the gleans, gleanings of thy harvest. Praise God. And thou shalt not glean thy vineyard, neither thou shalt gather in every grapes of, the, of thy vineyard. Thou shalt leave them for the poor and the stranger. I am the Lord your God. Amen. I am the Lord your God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Come on, let's clap our hands to Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh. I am the Lord your God. Amen. Sabi dito mga kapatid, Ruth and Naomi, now they are very far. Very far away from home. But just happy mga kapatid to pick up the field of Boaz. A kinsman of Naomi. Praise God. That's perfect in the God. God direct her. Amen. Because, hallelujah, 
the moment that Ruth acknowledged the God of Israel, mga kapatid, hallelujah, he will become her God also. Praise God, hallelujah, blessed be the name of Jesus. Sabi nga, mga kapatid, God is in return, amen, gives her the guidance that she needs. She needed to be survived. We can survive, church. We can survive, Breton. Amen? Away from home, we can survive with the help of our Almighty God. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah, because the Bible says, mga kapatid, that uh, hallelujah, He will never leave us nor forsake us. Amen. Amen? Without the guidance of God, mga kapatid, in our lives, amen, we cannot survive. Amen. Yeah? Amen. Especially we are away from home. Amen. What is the secret? The secret is in God. If you serve the true God, mga kapatid, hallelujah, you will see the favor and the blessings of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. Worship Him. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Praise God. Let's look at of, of her potential, mga kapatid. Praise God. Ruth was both beauty inside and out. Inside and out. Amen. Hallelujah. As a Christian, mga kapatid. Amen. We are shaped. Sabi nga dito. Amen. Stand spiritually. Praise God. Potentially. Spiritually. Uh, saan ako? Praise God. Praise the Lord. Let's clap our hands to Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Sabi nga dito mga kapatid, a Gentile to marry a Jew is a miracle. Amen? A Gentile is to marry a Jew is a miracle because in the first place, mga kapatid, it's not acceptable in their law, praise God, and in their culture, mga kapatid, praise God, because of the kinsman redeemer option to buy back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Nawala ako sa aking topic, mga kapatid. But let's worship Him. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We worship you, Father. We worship you, Father. Hallelujah. All I can say, mga kapatid. Hallelujah. Stick to the true God. Amen. Whom we serve. Because you will see uh, the blessings of the Lord in your life, mga kapatid. Praise God. And let's look at the innermost being, mga kapatid. A stranger of the land, yet she conquers it. Amen? How she did do it, mga kapatid, praise God, she is willing to be sacrificed for the life of others. Amen? She suffered the head of the day just to follow the food. Hallelujah. Just to have food in her table and to her mother-in-law. Praise God. Maybe, mga kapatid, you will not suffer the heat of the day, but you suffer pain in your body. You suffer emptiness. You suffer loneliness, mga kapatid, because you are uh, away from your home, away from your children. Amen. But, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Makikita mo, mga kapatid, ang favor ng Diyos sa buhay mo. Makikita mo. Praise God. In conclusion, mga kapatid, you and I could be Ruth in a modern generation as long as we speak to, God, to the God of Israel. Hallelujah, who is Jesus Christ. Away from home is not easy, but God, for with God, nothing is impossible. Keep your spiritual life right with God. Keep your heart pure. Hallelujah, dedicate your abilities to God, mga kapatid. You have the greatest potential. You keep your, hallelujah, keep your whole being filled with the Holy Spirit. Yes. Amen? Don't forget your duties and responsibilities in the church and in your family. Praise God. Lastly, mga kapatid, 
We are priceless. You are priceless. Amen. Carefully, wonderfully made. God shaped and molded in your mother's womb. God created you in his own image. You were being created to redeem and deeply love. Amen. And valued by God. Hallelujah. Away from home, mga kapatid, yet you are blessed. Away from home, yet you are blessed. Amen. If you stick to the true God, you will see that the favor of the Lord in your life, church. You will see the favor of God in your life. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Come on, let's worship you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Palapakan natin ang ating Panginoon sa Thank you so much. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Mahirap mga kapatid. Totoo ang mawala o makawalay sa family. Amen. But if you stick, amen, to our God and live faithfully, amen, you will bless you. God will bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Kawan palapakan natin ang ating Diyos. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I have only a few minutes. Amen. Pero bibilisan po natin, mga kapatid. Let's open our Bible. Amen. In Matthew chapter 15. Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 15, verse 22 to 28. And it says here, And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same cause and cried unto him, saying, have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievous vexed with Dado. Verse 23, but he answered her not a word. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she cried after us. But he answered and said, I am not sent but to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. In 26, but he answered and said, It is not me to take the children's bread and to cast it to dogs. And she said, Truth, Lord, yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from their master's table. And in verse 28, then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith. Be it unto thee, even as thou, as, as thou will. And her daughter has made hold from that very hour. Praise the Lord. So I'm going to talk about, amen, with God's grace. Mother's appeal. Praise God. Hallelujah. Kanina, amen, mother's appeal. Uh, uh, a, a, a woman with purpose, amen, and sister uh, Marithe, away from home yet blessed. So ngayon mga kapatid, a mother's appeal. appeal. Ano ibig sabihin ng appeal? Amen, appeal is a serious, urgent, or heart, heartfelt request. It's God. It is a serious, urgent, or heartfelt request. Request. Blessed be thy name, O God. Salamat, Panginoon, sa mga salita mo. Lord Jesus, let your word, O God, be heard. And I pray for your anointing, O God. Hallelujah, Lord. I pray for the liberty of your words and acceptance, a heart, Lord God, that have an open heart and a receptive heart. And let your spirit continue to move in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. It's really quite difficult. Amen tayo mga kapatid. Na sino pong mga mothers dito? Ayan. Marami mga kapatid. Away from home. And it's really difficult. Amen na tayo po ay mabuhay na malayo sa ating family. Mga kapatid, maaring iniisip nyo, hindi ka naman malayo sa family mo. I experienced it, mga kapatid, when Christine, Christina, Amen. Uh, studied her uh, university in the Philippines. 
I think almost two years, almost two years, na nakawalay siya sa amin. Amen. And there are many nights, sleepless night. Mga ka na, naiyak na kami ako. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Nung, na mga ka na malayo ka sa kanya. Mal malayo ka sa kanya. Kasama ko mga kapatid, ang family asawa ko. Kasama ko ang dalawang anak. Pero yung isa, nawawala. Nasa Pilipinas at hindi namin siya kasama. At maraming gabi na hindi ako makatulog dahil hindi ko alam kung ano ang kanyang ginagawa. Lalo na mga kapatid, siya ay asang at anak ng pastor. Praise God. At para sa akin, hindi pwede na nandito siya kami at siya ay nandoon. Mga kapatid doon na, kumbaga ang ganda ng buhay namin, pero siya nag-iisa doon, mga kapatid, nalulungkot, amen, walang matawagan ng mama na kasama niya, amen, na kung may mga problems siya, mga kapatid, amen, na wala man lang siya mayakan, yes, I can talk to her through phones, mga kapatid, pero iba yung kasama mo siya, iba yung kausap mo siya, iba yung sabi kanina, iba yung mayakap mo siya. Amen. Iba yun, mga kapatid. Amen. At napakasakit para sa akin na mapawalay siya. Praise God, pinapadalhan siya. Yes, mga kapatid. Amen. Pero yun nga, hindi natin siya mamonitor. Hindi natin siya alam kung anong ginagawa niya. Hindi natin alam, mga kapatid, no, kung uh, how faithful she is sa gawain ng ating Panginoon. Maybe she is at the church. Amen. Serving, worshiping God. But I don't know what is in her heart or in her mind. So, ganun kahirap, mga kapatid, nung mapawalay siya sa amin. Maraming mga sleepless night. Amen. Na naranasan na ako at umiiyak ako sa Panginoon. Kumusta na? Tapos, mga kapatid, no, yung tatawag siya, Mama, may lagnat ako. Mama, masakit yung siya ko. Hindi ko alam kung paano ako lilipad. Amen. Para kung anong gagawin ko sa kanya. Ang hirap, no? Kaya naiintindihan ko kayo. Mga kapatid na, mga kapatid, yung mga sacrifice, but it's really, mga kapatid, painful. Amen, na mapawalay, but it's really a sacrifice. Praise God, it's really a sacrifice na lang ito kayo, mga kapatid. Praise God. Kaya, mga kapatid, dumating ako sa point that I challenge God sa aking prayer. Sabi ko, Lord, yung mga pastors na nasa Pilipinas, napapaaral nila ang kanilang mga anak sa university, nandun sila sa Pilipinas. Tapos kami nandito sa Hong Kong, hindi namin mapaaral yung aming mga anak sa university. Mapakailangan pa siyang umuwi para mapaaral lang namin siya. Hindi na ako pwede pa noon. Sabi ko, kailangan wala nang uuwi. Mag-aaral dito ang aking mga anak at hindi na wala nang uuwi sa Pilipinas na hindi kami kasama. And I challenge God. I pray you need to bless us. Yes. And I thank God I thank God, God answers my prayer. Amen, meron na po kaming teacher ngayon. Amen, meron na kaming kakat na nag-aaral o nagtuturo na teacher na siya. Praise God. Ang laki ng, ang laki ng uh, enrollment, mga kapatid, ng matrikula. Amen, first sem, mauna mga kapatid sa kanyang parang VTC, kailangan namin, kailangan niyang mag-provide instantly ng 5,000. Mariit niya yung para sa inyo, 5,000. Diba? But sa mga kapatid, sa pag-aaral din ng teacher, kinakailangan ng 36,000 Hong Kong dollars. Imagine that, mga kapatid. But because I challenge God, Amen, God provided. 36,000 binigay ng ating Panginoon, pinaaral ng Diyos, si Katrina, 
Praise God. Set and serve another 36,000. Amen. And you know what the Lord did? Mga kapatid, pumasya siya sa scholarship. Binayaran ng Diyos ang 36,000. And go on. And go on. God is good. Amen. Hallelujah. Ito tayo, papasok tayo ngayon, mga kapatid, sa message. A mother's appeal. Amen. Na lumapit ang isang mother na to. Amen. Dahil sa kanyang anak. Amen. Na, na, na possess ng devil. Best of devil spirit. Of devil. Amen. Lumapit siya sa ating Panginoon. Amen. Hindi siya tumigil. Amen. Hanggang hindi siya pinapakinggan ng ating Panginoon. Look at that. Amen. Sabi niya mga kapatid. Praise God. Hallelujah. In Matthew chapter 15. Amen. Verse 22 to 28. A woman of Canaan came to Jesus and cried unto him to heal her daughter with a devil. Amen. She said, O oh Lord, have mercy on me, thou son of David. Naalala si Bartimius? Yan ang kanyang sagot. Uh, 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 sigaw sa ating Panginoon. Amen. Son of David, have mercy on me. Baano narinig din niya ito, mga kapatid? Itong kanaanas human, Gentiles. Praise God. Kung baga, wala sa kanya ang promise. Praise the Lord. Amen. Pero, mga kapatid, tumawag siya sa ating Panginoon. Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. Unang response, Jesus answered her, no words. Walang narinig na sagot mula sa ating Panginoon. Amen? Sa mga susunod na verse. Praise God. Sundan mo lang ako, Sir uh, Marie. Amen. Jesus answered her no word. And there are times in our prayer that God is silent. Right. Amen. Hindi natin siya marinig. Amen. Very silent ang ating Panginoon. But this woman didn't stop her calling the name of Jesus. Maingay nga siya. Praise God! Hallelujah! Sundan mo sa mga 27 niya tayo, mga kapatid. O, oh, Sir Marie. Amen. Sundan mo sa mga verses na yan. And she said, Truth, Lord! Sa, sa 20, 22 o 23. 23. Hallelujah! The disciples said, Send her away, for she cried after us. Amen. Meaning, answer her, O Lord. Amen. O, that she may leave us. Jesus, ang sagot, mga kapatid, ng ating Panginoon, I am not sent, but unto the lost ship of the house of Israel. Tumawag siya sa Panginoon, silent ang Diyos. Eto, mga disciples, tinulungan na siya Amen. Lumapit na sa ating Panginoon. Amen. Para pakinggan ang babae nito. Pero ang sabi ng Panginoon, I am not sent but unto the Lordship of the house of Israel. Ibig sabihin nito, baka maaaring nagbigay na siya ng mga prayer request. Nagbigay na kayo ng mga prayer request. Maaaring may mga pastors na rin na nananalangin mga kapatid para sa kanyang pangangailangan. Pero ang sagot ng Diyos, hindi ako para sa kanya. Ta ako ay ipinadala para sa mga lost ship, hindi sa mga kanaanans. Praise God! 
The woman cried unto God, no answer. The disciples intervened, denied. Denied. Amen. So there are times, even when we ask help, amen, sometimes wala pa rin answer. But here is it. Hallelujah. In verse 26, then she came and worship him, saying, Lord, help me. Praise God. 25? Yeah, 25. Natutuling na ako lang sa lamin. Praise God. And she came and worship him, saying, Lord, help me. Amen. But he answered and said, it is not me to take the children's bread and to cast it to dog. If you want God's answer, gumapit ka sa kanya ng may pagsamba. Amen. At may pagpapakumbaba. Amen. When she said, Lord, help me. Amen. Nandun mga kapatid, his, her humbleness and desperation. Mga kapatid, no? Sabi ko kanina, di ba mga kapatid? I challenge God. Sabi ko, hindi na ito po pwede. Ang hirap mawala sa akin, mawawala at makawalay sa isang anak, nas makawalay ang isa sa aking mga anak. Mahirap, mga kapatid, kaya naiintindihan ko kayo. Nagturo ko yung puso natin, masakit. Amen, lalo na kapag kami mga bad news, Diba mga kapatid? And in my prayer, pinapakita ng ating Panginoon noon kung ano ang nangyayari sa kanya kay Christina. Kung ano ang kanyang ginagawa. Sa prayer, sa panaginip, pinapakita ng ating Panginoon at kinoconfirm ng Diyos na kung ano yung nakita ko doon sa panaginip, yun talaga ang nangyayari. Sabi ko, Lord, <laughs> hindi talaga. Kailangan makauwi na siya talaga dito. Praise God. Hallelujah. As I said, if you want God's answer, worship Him. God is thus whenever we worship Him and humble ourselves to Him and say, Lord, help me. Lord, help me. Doon pa lang sumagot ang Diyos, Sister Marlene. Amen. Hindi yung pagsigaw-sigaw niya. Amen. David, as I Pero nung nakita na ng Diyos yung kanyang desperation and humility and her worship, Amen, Lord, help me. Maaring nandun na mga kapatid yung pag-iyak niya. Maaring nandun na mga kapatid yung pag-iyak niya. Amen. But makita niya mga kapatid sa kanyang itsura, Amen, yung talagang desperation and hopelessness that he reached really, really need God. God's answer, ang bread na to na dala-dala ko, o ang, ang, kung ano mang inihingi mo is not for you. This is for the children. But he, she showed his feet. She never gave up. And she doesn't want a no answer. Anong sabi niya, mga kapatid? Even the dogs eat from the crumbs that fall from the master's table. Kung baga, yes, kahit dog lang ako, Panginoon, may karapatan naman siguro akong kumain, kahit na mga crumbs lang. Kahit mercy lang, Lord. Kahit yung awa lang. Maaring I am not, I am not a, a children of Israel. Maaring hindi ako karapat dapat kung ano yung, yung blessing para sa kanila. But your mercy. When, when she said, Lord, help me. Lord, help me. That is what God is looking for. And He wants you. Amen. To hear. He wants 
God wants you to hear that. Nasabihin mo sa Panginoon, Lord, help me. Ilang taon ka na dito? Psalm 20, 30, 15, mga kapatid, ilang years ka na. But until now, nagsasuffer ka pa rin away from home. Away from your family. Ay na nagpapadala ka, mga kapatid, ng, ng, um, ng mga finances, mga kapatid, pero madalas, ay na di ba ang napupuntahan? It's time for you to call up on God and say, Lord, help me. Tulungan mo ako. Mga pastor's wife, praise God, sabi kanina ni Sir Jennifer, Amen. It's not really good. It's not really good. Mga kapatid na, malayo kayo sa mga asawa niyo at sa ministry. Praise God. May pangako ang ating Panginoon. Amen. Kapag ka, mga kapatid, ikaw ay namumuhay sa salita ng ating Panginoon, pakakainin ka ng Diyos muna sa kanyang mga salita.
Paalam sa Panginoon ang kahilingan mo at siya'y tutugon sa'yo. Kanyang nakikita ang iyong mga pagluha at siya'y tutulong sa'yo. Kasa 